All right, I want to talk about refs in React. So refs are a way that you can reference elements that are on your page because one of the golden rules in React is that you don't touch the DOM. You'll see here in my component, it's a pretty basic thing that I've got built here. If I look at the page, there's an input and there's a button. That's all there is. So I wouldn't put an ID on this. I wouldn't put an ID on this and then in React try to access it. You can see here there's no class name, there's no ID, but I can still work with the different event yeah, with the different mm -hmm. elements. Inside my constructor, I can create a reference or I can create a reference outside of it as a property on the component. I can then attach that property to this input and then use it as a way to reference the input. So my button, I'm going to call this method here increment. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to increment the number that's inside the input. This is sort of a, a, a normal situation where you would use references. You don't want to put refs on absolutely everything. If you're adding refs to absolutely everything, then you're just kind of weighting it down. You don't usually need to. If I wanted to do something with this input, let's say I actually did have a value inside of here instead of a, just a default value, I could put an on change handler inside of here. Then inside of whatever that method is, I can refer to the EV target. So the event target. Let's just create a, a method called thing, actually this dot thing. So my arrow function right here, this method, I can use ev.target to reference that input. So this is normally what would happen is I'm going to be doing that. But if you're ever working with one component or one element within your component and you're trying to, say, reference something else that's on the page, that's where you use a ref. All right, let's create one. So up inside here, I can say this dot my input. I can call it whatever I want. It's just a name. So this dot my input equals create uh, react dot create ref like that. The other alternative would be to do this. So I'm creating a property inside my component, setting it equal to react create ref. So either of these will work. Inside of increment, if I want to reference it, it's just with this dot my input. Now I need to connect that with this. So I'm going to remove this part right here. I'll just put this in a comment. There we are. Ref equals this dot my input. There. Now I have created a reference that I'm using in the input. So up here, I created the reference, gave it a name, and I put the name down inside of the element. Now, from anywhere in my page, whenever I want to refer to this input or anywhere inside my component, if I want to refer to this input, I just use this dot my input. This now refers to this element. Okay, so inside my increment, I wanted to update the number that's inside of here. I'll say let num equal this dot my input. Now there's a property inside of here called current. Current references the current object right here. So my input is the ref, current is the actual input, and then we get its value with the value property, just like you would in regular JavaScript dealing with a DOM element. We can increment that number and then put it back in this dot my input dot current dot value equals num. Now I could have compressed that all into one line, but just to show you what I'm doing here in very simple terms. Um, left this thing right here. I am not using that. Let's erase it. Make sure I'm not referencing it. Yeah, good. Okay. There we are. So we're in here, here's my app, there's my input, default value is zero, 
and ref, the current, is the HTML input element. That's what we want. So a click, and there we are. Keep clicking, it'll keep incrementing that number, all because I have the ref. So one element doing something that needs to reference another element. We don't touch the DOM, so we don't put an ID or a class in here and then try to use document get element by ID or document query selector. We can use a ref when we're in a situation where we need to reference some other element inside of our component. The ref is the solution to this problem. All right, that's it. That's refs. So hope that helps you out. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. If you found this useful, please share it. And as always, thanks for watching.